solve by completing the square. The first one, x squared plus 6x plus 1 equals 0. There are two steps that are necessary before you complete the square. What are those two steps? <laughs> Isolate the variables. Variables on one side, numbers on the other. The second thing is actually already done for us. The second thing is make sure the leading coefficient is a 1. Those two steps can be done in either order, but they both must be done before we complete the square. Variables on one side, numbers on the other. Leading coefficient must be a 1. Once that is done, then off the side, you're going to take half of the linear coefficient and square it. Whatever this number is, you're going to add it to both sides. So what's half of 6 squared? 9. So we're going to add 9 to both sides. By doing so, you have made what is called a perfect squared trinomial on the left-hand side. The left-hand side will always factor as the variable followed by half the linear coefficient. Our variable is x. There you go. Half the linear coefficient is 3. Quantity squared equals class negative 1 plus 9. 8. Good. So now notice we're back in our square root property format. We have a perfect square equal to number. So if you would, solve for x. So take the square root of both sides. Do not forget your plus or minus. Oh. What is the square root of 8 simplified to be? And finish this off by doing what to both sides? There you go. Subtracting 3 from both sides. Next one. Prep this for surgery. What do we do first? Subtract 12. Then what? Divide everything by 2. I'm going to move this over for two reasons. One, I can, and two, it's really cool. Yeah, it totally would. I was just making sure if you guys were paying attention. Good job. You passed the test. You're too smart to be an iPhone user. That was terrible. I'm going to keep that in the recording. All right. This one is eviler. Why? Because the coefficient of the linear term is fractional. So it's two steps are done. Half of negative 9 halves is negative 9 fourths. Squared is 81 sixteenths. Oh, that was weird. So half of 9 halves is 9 over 4. 9 over 4 squared is 81 sixteenths. Is that okay? Fractions are your friend, not food. So without a calculator, well, let's do the left-hand side. Remember, the variable, I'm sorry, the left-hand side will factor as the variable. What's our variable? Our variable. That's okay. Just say x. 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 Very good. Variable followed by half of the coefficient squared equals, what is negative 6 plus 81 sixteenths? 
I think you're right. Yeah, negative 6 is what, 96 sixteenths? Right, so negative 96 sixteenths plus 81 sixteenths is negative 15 sixteenths. Isn't 16 times 6 96? But notice here, we have something squared equals something negative. What type of answers are we going to expect? Imaginary. All right. Uh, so when we take the square root of both sides, we'll get x minus 9 fourths equals plus or minus the square root of negative 15 sixteenths. Plus or minus the square root of negative 15 sixteenths would be plus or minus the square root of 15 over 4i. Is that okay? And then to finish this off by adding 9 fourths to both sides. Even though in this one we do have a common denominator, do not bring them together because then it would not be standard form. So 9 fourths plus or minus the square root of 15 fourths I.